Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here in the competitive League of Legends world. All of the new leagues are getting very, very close to starting off. In the next coming weeks, we're going to see the LPL, the LCK, the LCS, and the LEC all kicking off play. So fans all across the world, uh, if you're an LOL esports fan, you, it's time to get really, really excited. Um, and on Twitter today, we learned a ton about what the 2021 LCK format is going to look like. And Korean League of Legends fans should be very, very hyped up and very, very excited. In this video today, we're going to be going through all of these changes. This is a part of my new uh push to start including more lpl more chinese more lck more korean league of legends content on this channel so hopefully you guys do appreciate that and again if you guys do if you appreciate me covering these other leagues and want to see more of this make sure you drop a like on this video because i would appreciate it a ton it helps me out with the algorithm and it helps me know that this is the content you guys want to see also leave a comment down below letting me know uh that you guys want to see more lck stuff i would appreciate that a ton uh, but yeah also remember to subscribe with that being said here we go let's go over some of these new changes because they are really really exciting one of the big first ones is that the minimum salary has been increased with players and head coaches required to be paid above uh 60 million krw or above and coaches 40 million or above this will apply uh to those registered as a part of the roster in the lck this is great to hear and if we take a look at that um in terms of dollars 60 million uh south korean won is going to be about 55 thousand dollars so that is definitely a livable wage that is awesome to see um as esports continue to grow and grow and grow i want to see uh salaries continuing to grow and grow and grow obviously um not into bubble territory not into overpaying the players but you need esports to be a sizable salary especially when esports careers are so short you need the risk uh, of taking the the time money effort energy and everything of becoming a professional player you need the the financial uh potential financial gain to be there because if there's not good money at the end of the tunnel if there's not consistent money that you can really change your life with um then it makes it much much harder for players to really uh put all the time effort and, and money necessary into trying to become a professional player because league of legends is a game that is very very time consuming to become the best it takes years and years and years and hours and hours and hours um and you see with other pro sports like it's worth it to try to become a soccer player because you become a millionaire it's worth it to try to become a football player even if you fail because you could have been a millionaire you don't want to try and become a professional league of legends player player and then make twenty thousand dollars when you could have just went to school and make forty thousand or fifty thousand or sixty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars or whatever um so i do like seeing the salaries increase obviously at the top the salaries are way above this um but just for the average player um because leagues are leagues need all these players you know if there is uh 50 players in your league the 50th guy is still somebody you need the 49th guy is still somebody you need uh to to have in the league he needs to be paid um and again $55,000, nothing crazy, but it's enough to live off. It's a good step. I hope to see these salaries increasing uh, year over year. I think the LCK is doing something good there. Also, in terms of coaches getting $40 million, I think that's awesome um, because, again, you need that support staff. You need these people to have livable wages. You need them to have all the money, um, financial security and stuff, so they can actually uh, focus on becoming better coaches, uh, focusing on making the players better, and that will lead to the long-term success and longevity of esports and solidifying it as a legitimate career um, so you can kind of get that next new wave because we need uh, young people right now to understand that esports uh, is a viable career path. We need parents to believe that it is a viable career path uh, so we can see more and more people getting into that. Um, then we also have the fact that uh, there is a new secondary league, the LCK Challenges League, or the LCK CL matches will take place every Monday and Tuesday on days when the LCK is not on. They'll play double round robin, best of one matches. Playoff format's going to be the same as the LCK. We'll get into that in a second. Um, so everybody's just going to have an academy team that's going to be the equivalent of that, which is awesome. Um, that they'll be directly related with their uh, Korean, with their LCK teams. Um, roster changes between the LCK and the LCK CL could only take place at three different periods during split: at the beginning of split, at the end of round one, and before the start of playoffs um, for trainees and amateurs players that are not registered in the lck or lck uh, cl the lck academy series will continue to take place so now they have like three whole leagues which is awesome because again there's a ton of talented players in korea they can definitely um, fill out all these leagues um, but then what in my opinion what the biggest thing here to talk about is the new playoff format for the lck because this was so so needed here is what the bracket looks like so let me make sure you guys can actually see this yeah here we go we have the four and five seed the three and six seed 
playing in the quarterfinals, the top two seeds getting a bye into the semifinals, um, and then obviously the winners play and they go on. Um, this is such a better playoff format. If you guys did not know what the LCK playoff format was from 2020, here is what it looked like. Um, it was this uh, King of the Hill style bracket where the number one team from the regular season got a bye all the way to the finals, number two to the semifinals, number three uh, to the quarterfinals, uh, and then the fourth and fifth teams played at the beginning. And this gave too much weight to the regular season and it also took away hype matchups hype playoff series and just more overall games from the best teams uh in this new bracket it's nothing crazy it's not like the lck uh you know came up with something amazing here this is the the playoff format that most uh, teams have been doing in the League of Legends esports, but also that most competitive sports leagues uh, do around the world. Uh, most leagues that do have a playoff system, and this will be awesome. You will get to see the best teams play more games. You'll have more series, more best of fives, more hype matchups. The one thing that does suck uh, is that the, they do say here that the LCK considered implementing double elimination playoffs like the LCS and the LEC, but due to scheduling conflicts with international tournaments, as well as the need to fit in double round robin best of three regular season matches, the LCK have decided to drop the idea for now they do say for now so maybe sometime in the future we will be seeing double elimin uh double elimination lck playoffs which would be so so hype but uh you know in return right now uh the lck does get double round robin best of threes for the regular season which i know uh some lec and lcs fans have been asking for for a long time so uh, maybe you don't get the exact perfect playoff structure but maybe you have the superior regular season structure you guys still get to play a ton more games and everything um but you are taking a step in the right direction with this playoff format this is going to be so so crazy so fun to watch uh the lck playoffs which before we're honestly kind of lame it, it did suck not getting to see uh the best team play in multiple series have to fight through some adversity having teams at the bottom have a little bit more of a chance um now you are going to get to see these playoff series now all of a sudden teams have more of a chance it is going to be more exciting there will be more uh big games more big matchups and that's going to be great for viewership uh, for business, but also for the teams. I mean, it's really going to work out for everybody. It's going to work out for the fans. It's going to work out for the LCK. It's going to work out for the, the players and just everyone involved. Um, maybe it won't work out for the number one seed of the regular season as well. Um, but again, for the overall longevity in terms of making money, in terms of overall competitiveness, this format is just superior. Um, and I think it's something people should be really, really excited about. Uh, yeah, maybe not having double elimination will be a little bit, uh, a little bit sucky, but uh, this is a big, big improvement over what they had last year. So, uh, I mean, I, you can't complain too much, right? It's going to be a ton of fun to watch. Um, and I think LCK fans are really, really going to be excited about that. But yeah, this was awesome to see a ton of new updates on Twitter. All this new information coming out. Again, the LCK starts very, very shortly. Um, I can't remember the exact start date, uh, but it's coming up uh, within the next week or two. Obviously, all of these leagues are kicking off very, very soon. So that is super, super exciting, super fun. Uh, and, you know, we're all hyped up for it. Uh, and this is just some great news uh, leading up to, up to it this news is coming out at the perfect time um and it's getting everybody excited but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below which of these changes are you most excited for do you love the new playoff system do you think there's still some changes that need to be made um do they need to go to double elimination as soon as possible um do you guys like uh the uh best of threes in the regular season instead because obviously there's there's only so many days uh in a year but uh, yeah, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on anything that we talked about in this video. Subscribe to, to stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace!